What's up everyone, Darkblade here with a quick patch information video for Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Now this is for the PC version of Monster Hunter World Iceborne and is regarding the patch 11.50.01. Now this is only a small patch that addresses a few under the hood issues with the game. The small patch should be released today which is the 20th of February 2020 but unfortunately it doesn't specify what size it is but it is only a small one, they're classifying it as a small update rather than anything large. But on top of that, we are also getting the compensation bonuses that was a result of problems towards the end of the Grand Appreciation Fest. So in this quick video, I'm going to quickly go over the changes and fixes that came with the patch as well as what these daily bonus compensation packs will involve. Now, first of all, in regards to the patch changes that 11.50.01 has brought with it. Now, first of all, an issue has been addressed with the observation log photos. These are basically the photo missions that the Linian researcher gives you. Basically, they would not register correctly under certain PC setups, but this has been addressed and working properly. They also fixed an issue where crashes would happen while using AMD graphics cards. They haven't specified which actual graphic cards these are, just that it's AMD ones. They also fixed another issue where DX12 users would experience rare crashes regardless of whatever graphics card they were using. The next bug fix that was addressed was where players could not enter their room in Seriana and Estera under certain PC setups. Again, they haven't really specified what these are. They just said that it is a bug that they have addressed. So you now should be able to access your room regardless of what setup you're using. Capcom then went on to adjust the frequency of your Palico's voice dialogue while they were on standby. And finally, they addressed an issue where the Steamworks reward item numbers didn't match the actual number of items you received after taking part in the minigame. But that's about it for the patch. But we're moving on to the next new bit of information, which is regarding the daily bonus compensation item packs. Now from the 21st of February, so during the next reset coming up tomorrow, Capcom will be releasing various daily compensation item packs which can be claimed by simply logging into the game between the 21st of February and the 27th of February. There are six packs in total and they can be claimed by just simply logging in. Now the reason we're getting these packs is because there was an issue during the Grand Appreciation Fest towards the end of it, so from February the 11th till the 13th, where the login bonuses could not be obtained, limited bounties were not updated or couldn't be completed, the event quests and arena challenge quests were unavailable, I personally experienced this one, and the Grand Appreciation Fest and Appreciation decorations and character costumes had returned to their default state. And lastly, sales on in the facilities in Estera and Saliana, as well as the special platters in the canteens were also made unavailable. Capcom apologised for these issues and would like to compensate everyone for the inconvenience with some free item packs. Ultimately, these item packs will contain rewards, as if we were able to complete the daily activities during this time period of the Grand Appreciation Fest. Now, three of these packs can be claimed by all players, regardless of if you've updated the game to Monster Hunter World Iceborne yet. The first one contains appreciation fireworks and appreciation tickets. The second contains even more appreciation fireworks, appreciation tickets and free gold Wyvarian prints. And the final one contains an advanced atmosphere, hard atmosphere and a golden egg. But for players who have upgraded to Iceborne, you'll also get three more compensation packs, which the first one includes free snowmen and a gratitude ticket. The second contains even more snowmen, more gratitude tickets, five silver melding tickets and one gold melding ticket. And the final one contains a celestial Wyvarian print, heavy armor sphere and king armor sphere. So it's nice that Capcom are giving us back some items as a result of the errors we saw towards the end of the Grand Appreciation Fest. It's also a bonus if you weren't actually playing during that time because you'll still get these items. So don't forget to log in sometime next week to claim them. But what are your thoughts? Leave a comment down below. And until next time, I've been Darplay, bringing you a quick patch information video for Monster Hunter World on PC. Hope you enjoyed the little video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like for more.